Okay, the last movie from Indicator number 76 is Power of the Press from 1943. This is the last of the, the ones written by Sammy Fuller on this disc and we're in his home territory here. It's all about newspaper men. It's an environment that he came from and the rapid fire dialogue that comes out of the mouths of these people, or some of them anyway, is terrific and just has that machine gun fire feel about it. And this is all about... Um, the managing owner of the New York Gazette and he is at a time where it's World War II is in play and he has read an editorial by a small newspaper that has a mere fraction of the readers that his does and it's an old friend of his and this is at a time where a, a good worded letter has an, an effect on somebody, makes them change their opinion and he decides that he has been a little bit too much focused on just making money in business and business putting out the wrong rhetoric in the paper, that he wants to change that. He wants to completely change everything. And he's, um, I'm changing my speech tonight. I'm going to focus on the things that we should be doing better, the things that we can do better, and the things that we will do better. And as he stands up to give his speech, he is shot. But he doesn't die. He's still kicking about for another day or so. And with that day, he makes a new will. And that is leaving it um, to Ulysses Bradford, an old friend of his, the person that wrote the editorial that made him change his mind, that he is now uh, the managing partner of this newspaper. And we have Edie, his, um, or Eddie, his uh, secretary, who now works with Ulysses, who kind of brings him on board to try and figure out um, A, who killed the big boss man, and B, how they can sort this paper out and stop it from being biased. Now, this is a movie that is extremely pertinent in today's culture because it is all about fake news. We have a newspaper where they, they're not due diligent. They're in a rush to be first to get the story out there. They don't double check everything and sometimes they put out the wrong information. Sometimes they're actually starting the story themselves. They're causing an incident to report on it. And Ulysses comes in here as a man who wants impartiality. He wants everything to be told with both sides of the stories. He doesn't want a personal opinion to, to be there in the stories. He wants a proper newspaper. But you get these evil uh, people who just want the money uh, and they're quite apparently sneaky, devious people that Ulysses is up against. And it almost breaks him if it's not thanks to Edie who's always there to kind of G him up. This was... Um, my favourite of the three stories on this because of a few facts. I loved the sort of murder mystery aspect, trying to figure out who was doing it. Um, the the sort of little people rising up against uh, the sort of rich, powerful people that are intent on keeping them down. Uh, I, I loved the relationship and the fast dialogue. And, and it was a, a real kind of edge of the seat thriller that had some kind of, like I said, modern uh, parable for us just now which was terrific. There is um, the editor of the newspaper who is that, that newspaper guy that just fires off the words countless times. It's hard to almost pick up what he's saying, which was terrific. And this was a real treat. Uh, one of these movies that you could easily gloss over. I, I thought it was fantastic. Um, the performances were all good. I, I loved how it never... I never quite knew exactly where it was going to go to. Um, especially with Ulysses, I ex expected him to go in there and be a lot smarter than these people's, but that would have been wrong to the character. He, he's a small town character who doesn't know the inner workings of an extremely large newspaper and sometimes falls under the, the sort of headway of steam that some of the characters had. But then we have this, this secretary who knows everything, who's on the ball with everything and who is striving to keep her old boss's uh, wishes alive which is a really a really nice touch as well i thought this was a great movie so i mean i'd say so far we've had three movies it happened to hollywood adventures in sahara and power of the press i enjoyed them all to various extents they're all really quick movies uh, all of them under 70 minutes and just genuinely fun so i'm really eager to move on with the rest of the fuller set uh, i've got another four movies to check out and this one, which is great, something to look forward to. Join me for the next review, and I'll see you next time on Man vs. Fall.